so I'm just going to get right into it because I wore loads this week. I started with um, my new, brand new Elizabeth Arden white tea eau de parfum, which is a delicious natural rose perfume. Now I've had I've had one comment from someone saying that this smells uh, the same as the wild rose and the original white tea, and um, again, like you know, different noses, but I don't agree at all. Um, it does have the it definitely has the original white tea dna this does not smell like the wild rose i don't like the wild rose at all i think it's like really weirdly tangy and sweet and doesn't smell massively rosy it smells very fruity rose this is very much a pure rose there's no fruits in this at all and it's less woody so slightly less unisex smelling to me than the original white tea and i don't think there's a i don't think there's rose in the original white tea so it doesn't smell like the original white tea in that this is a rose perfume but it does have that underlying dna because of the mate in the woods so this isn't on for grand key yet it's not available that many places for sale um someone asked me if, where, if it was available in america and um oddly it does although elizabeth arden i think is like new york it does it doesn't seem to be on their website um unless it's in the uk so i don't know if this is like a uk release but anyway luckily in the uk it's not that expensive it's like under 40 quid from from the actual elizabeth arden i got this for under 30 from debenhams online now um so the notes in this one are rose oil upcycled rose water uh, South American uh, mate leaves, um, Venezuelan roasted tonka bean, or oh, sun dried, sorry, sun dried Venezuelan tonka bean, uh, amber wood, and a trio of musks. And it is, yeah, so it doesn't have the cedar, so it's got a different kind of wood in the base. And to me, this is just an absolutely glorious rose perfume. It's a very natural smelling rose but it's got that lovely calming kind of herbal vibe from the tea, from the mate leaves from the tea. And um, and then just a little bit of sweetness from the tonka. It's not ridiculously sweet, it's perfectly balanced. I think this is a gorgeous perfume. And I have to say, I found it so comforting wearing this. It was like putting on, it's like someone wrapped a little cozy blanket around me. And it's not because it's thick or heavy, what I worked out was, because it's white tea, it smells very clean and spa-like, right? So it's very, very clean smelling. But the rose in it is such a lovely natural rose. And I just, when I was wearing it, it made me think of my grandmother. Now, we lost her during COVID times, so I didn't get to say goodbye to her at all. It was hideous. But I loved her very much. And um, she... <laughs> I never really thought about it before, but now there's something about wearing this that made me think about giving her hugs. Or like when I was little and I used to cuddle up to her because I think she always smelled like fresh, clean laundry. And I'm guessing she also smelled like rose. And that's what this smells like to me. So, I mean, this, yeah, this is just, this is beautiful. I love it. Um, I, I recommend this one. If you like rose perfumes and you like white, the white tea range, don't bother with the wild rose that one i don't think is very nice and i think it's the one that smells the least like the actual dna of the white tea range but this is really gorgeous it to be honest it's not massively stronger than the eau de toilettes it doesn't particularly last longer as far as i can tell it might be totally different in winter though maybe this just isn't in you know it doesn't bloom in summer but it's very delicious and lovely and i really like it i was very very happy with that indeed so i wore that during the day on saturday and then in the evening, because we had a bit of a date night, my fiance and I, um, I put this one on. So I've I, I've been wearing this quite a lot recently, and I it's just it's really it's a good one when you've kind of layering it over other things as well. So the reason I went for this one is because it basically smells like the original Ralph, which is like an appley, mandariny, floral smell. But this one is Ralph Love, so it's the flanker that smells that's got the rose and the cotton candy and apple in it. A red apple so it's kind of like it's got a slight berry smell to me but it's just like a candy apple and rose added in um so it layered really nicely over this one um i mean this had mainly worn off by the time i put it on but yeah this is a really nice one 
I won't give you all the notes because I've talked about it a million times, but yeah, this is, this is, if you know what Ralph smells like, this is Ralph, but with candied red apple and rose in it. It does say cotton candy, but it definitely smells like a candy apple to me. Um, so that's that one. And then, okay, so I did two on uh, Sunday as well. So I started off by wearing this one, Mojito Love. I don't know why I can't say that without doing a silly voice. Um, <laughs> so this is Ulrich de Varens, I think it's called. And this is an Eau de Parfum. And actually, you know what? This one's very, very light, but it did last for quite a long time. Um, and <laughs> this is the one that smells like Murray Mints. Oh my God, it totally smells like Murray Mint. It smells like a slightly fresh Murray Mint. I got my partner to smell it and he was like, yep, you smell like a Murray Mint. Um, <laughs> but we like edible stuff, so that's all good. So the notes in this one, top notes, tonic water, sugar cane, mint, lemon zest and lime middle notes floral notes and rose base notes sugar coconut nectar and musk and i think it's the coconut nectar here that is making this not at all smell like a mojito but you get a very gentle slightly caramelly smelling sugary slightly creamy vibe which i think is the coconut mixing with that sugar and then you get a lot of mint but it's a beautiful sweet mint. It doesn't smell like um, chewing gum. It doesn't smell like toothpaste. It's a very perfumey, pretty, but quite natural smelling mint. And you get, a, and when you first spray it, you get lime, but then it kind of calms down. You just get a very gentle, sort of slightly citrusy freshness. And it just smells like a very, it smells like a hard candy that's like a kind of hard caramel or hard toffee and mint. <laughs> or I mean you could say this in a way smells a bit like a mint ice cream it's really I think it's tasty I really like it I enjoyed wearing that one so I wore that one in the morning before I had my um shower and to be honest I had a really lazy Saturday so I wore it for a, <laughs> for a long time before I had my shower um because I didn't have my shower until after lunch um and I put it on in the morning so it lasted really well actually I could still smell it very much a skin scent you know you're not going to leave like a massive cloud around you you could massively overspray it but i think it might become a bit sickly if you do that depends how you feel about really sweet things and then after my shower um it had got pretty hot so i just decided to go for like a nice light one so this is woods of windsor and this is a pomegranate and hibiscus it's so pretty you do get pomegranate, so you do get a bit of fruitiness, but I think it's quite floral, this one. So you get that beautiful tropical smelling hibiscus. It's bright, it's light, it's easy to wear, it's really summery. Um, definitely on the skin, it's more floral than it is fruity, but you always keep that slight fruitiness. And I always think that hibiscus has a slight fruitiness to it anyway. Uh, you know, if you have hibiscus tea, there's a, there's always a slight fruity taste of that, almost cranberry-ish. So pomegranate goes really, really well. Um, so the top notes in this are bergamot, mandarin, orange. The middle notes are pomegranate, blackcurrant and hibiscus, um, mimosa and ginger. Base notes, vanilla and sandalwood. You don't really get a huge amount of other notes that you can smell in this. <sighs> It's mainly the hibiscus, it really is. With some pomegranate, maybe a bit of blackcurrant. Slight powderiness from the mimosa. It's not it's not massively gingery. I think it's very, very well blended, this one, but it's really pretty. And um, as I said, if you saw the haul where I got it, it cost me less than four pounds for a 100 ml eau de toilette. Um, is this 100 ml? Yeah. Um, so yeah, really very pretty, very easy to wear. That was just flouncing around. I just wanted to smell yummy, but I didn't want to, um, yeah, I, I didn't want to wear anything overpowering because it had got very, very hot again. It's like we keep having these mini heat waves in the UK. So anyway, that's that one. Oh gosh, how am I going to fit all this in? I'm going to have to start moving things around already. Let me just put my heat love. See, I can't say it without doing a stupid accent. I apologise what's wrong with me all right so monday for work i wore endless by sarah jessica parker so i've just got this little roller ball now endless is the one where well, actually it's not just the one all of them are the same um the the lovely collection from sarah jessica parker when you first spray them stroke put them on when you first sniff them in the bottle they smell very old-fashioned um 
but then once they've dried down they get very very pretty gently sweet they're all skin scents these are not things that people are going to smell for a mile around they're definitely skin scents they're light they're fragrant they're pretty they're really easy to wear um this one has loads of notes in it that i don't like but i don't really get much of a sense of them again this is incredibly well blended this one so uh, it's probably that i get they smell vintage because it's almost like i get the base notes first and then when it dries down i get the top notes it's weird so um top notes here are red apple plum ivy and pineapple middle notes are peony jasmine magnolia chamomile cloves Base notes, patchouli, oak moss, musk, sandalwood, suede, and vetiver. So I can smell that patchouli and the sort of suede vetivery kind of smell at the top. I can really smell it at the top. Yeah, that's where I get it. But once this dries down, it turns into a chamomile, apple, slightly green, musky scent. And it's very, very pretty and it's so easy to wear. I really like this. This, I think, is the new formulation and it smells quite um, pretty much, yeah, similar, I would say. Let me just double check that I'm telling you the truth, see if I can see it. It's an eau de parfum. The lovely, yeah. So this is the new one because in the mini, tiny, tiny ones, I still had the Cote, but this is the new one. It still smells the same, pretty much. Um, I'm not sure if it's quite as strong as the little one I've got, but that might just be an age thing because those are actually old now. I think if you want like a gentle, slightly apple -y skin scent, I've been really into apple recently. This is a really safe bet. You can get, the I think it's the beautystore.com. They have 100 ml bottles of Endless, this new formulation, for £10. And I think you could just wear the hell out of this. You can definitely overspray it. You will smell a little bit vintage and patchouli-ish at first for maybe five minutes, but then it instantly kind of changes into a lovely, slightly apple-y, gentle, calming skin scent. And I think it's, I think it's the chamomile in here. Then you get a bit of the plum, you get the chamomile, you get the musk maybe a slightly powdery sandalwood and you get a lot of red apple but it's a quite a sweet red apple you know it's i guess like it's they're not the nicest to eat but you know the red ones that go a bit powdery it's that kind of sweet apple um that just has a little bit of tang from the pineapple but i just it's so pretty really really pretty um and it is a bit flowery so that was Monday. Tuesday, I went for this one. This is AV by Adriana, uh, Adrienne, sorry, Vitazzini. And this is just a lovely clean, I think I put this in my spa sense. If that hasn't been up, been up on my channel yet, it's coming up soon. Oh, this is the one that replaced my big bottle of Elizabeth Arden True Love because there is something about it that's a bit true lovey. Um, so, I'll, I'll do i'll give you the notes and then i'll explain so the top notes are bergamot lily of valley and cyclamen middle notes are yellow freesia jasmine ylang ylang and may rose base notes are musk moss sandalwood oris and tonka bean so there's a lot of bergamot which is exactly the same as in true love especially when you first spray it and there's quite a lot of rose in in true love as well but it then gets sweet it gets kind of oris rooty sweety you know it's quite musky um and so this is reminds me of the dry down of true love um and it's just sort of lasts longer and is easier to wear because you don't have to go through the different stages of that kind of pear drop at the beginning and then slightly creamier floral at the end and lots of people i mean i still have my mini of true love so i still like it i've still got that that i can wear but i didn't really need a massive bottle because i had this one and this lasts so much better and i have to say it's a beautiful um it's kind of a it is a bit of a skin scent but it's way more noticeable than like something like this this is a true absolute skin scent this is a gentle clean smelling perfume but you will definitely leave a lovely scent trail wherever you go um you do not need to overspray this if you overspray this it will get very very strong um you just need a few spritz um if you like it strong then that'll work for you but personally i don't need this to be super strong and really it'll take me through eight hours before i want to put any more on it's um it's a really good one for work actually and what i want to say about this is there is something about this that reminds me a little bit of ck um ck2 
You know the one I love that smells like rainwater but has that orris sweetness? This has that orris sweetness, so it's clean. Now, if, you're, if you've been interested in CK2 but you don't like the idea of the wasabi and the pebbles, you don't want the kind of actual, like, paved, sweet, pavementy, like, niche smell that that one has, this is a really good alternative because it's more floral but it has exactly that same kind of clean vibe and it's got the same kind of level of sweetness in the dry down in that it has a lovely sweetness from a bit of tonka bean and a bit of orris root and it's got that slightly powder, it's got like a powdery, it's just lovely but yeah wearing it and in terms of the longevity it's it's not quite as long wearing as CK2 but it's similar and it's also similar in that you really only need like squirt on the neck squirt on the wrists maybe one extra on your clothes you don't need anything else and if you layer it up too much it gets incredibly strong and that's exactly the same with ck2 so that one is a lovely oh no i should have known i was gonna do that it's a lovely lovely perfume that one though it's a real um it's a real corker in terms of like an everyday especially because you can get av for like a tenner uh i think there's a 90 mil bottles now on Wednesday the temperature finally started to drop and it was rainy and I just wanted to be a sweet tasty snack so I wore my guess um, seductive red oh my god I love this perfume guys it's I nearly swore I nearly swore because it's so yummy I'm obsessed <laughs> it is cherry and almonds and the thing is, it does have vanilla in it, but to me, this is a tonka bean sweetness. This doesn't smell massively vanilla-y to me, which is why I'm so fond of it. You get a tiny bit of like sharpness from the cherry, so it, but but not much. It's quite a sweet, syrupy cherry. Oh, and then almond. It's beautiful, beautiful almond, but it's not massively powdery. It's so. It makes me feel sexy. It really does. It makes me feel totally edible. I absolutely love it. And, and to be honest, I'm pretty sure maybe it was on this night. Maybe it was on, yeah, it might have been maybe on Sunday night. I think I put a bit of this on when I was just hanging out with my partner just because I just, I just really like it. I think it's such a nice perfume. It doesn't really last very long. Um, it, I mean, I'd say five hours max you're going to get out of this but it's so cheap i mean i think this was 15 pounds um for this little bottle um what is this is this a 30 mil yeah it's a 30 mil i think i might have been even less than that actually worth searching around for this one but it's just it's very tasty i really enjoyed wearing this one i think it's really yummy um Oh, the notes. Did I give you the notes? I didn't. So top notes, cherry, almond, and pink pepper. I don't get the pink pepper, but I get a huge amount of cherry and almond. Middle notes, cherry blossom, violet, and magnolia. I can't really sense the florals in this, to be honest. It's much more, I think probably the violet is helping it to not be horrifically like sweet to the point where it makes you feel a bit sick. Um, uh, base notes, vanilla, tonka bean, and sandalwood. And again, I don't really, like, you get a general sweetness, but it's almost like... Uh, like frangipani and cherry and it's not like it's not really like a cherry jam it's much fresher than that it's more like a cherry compote or like you've just literally put a load of cherries with sugar um, and cooked it down a little bit to make like a sort of compote or like a, a you know like a, a syrup you know it's it's delicious um, in fact I'm not even sure if it even smells cooked it's maybe it's like a really sweet cherry juice or something it's absolutely lush I love it um, so that was it. yeah and then we've got uh, Thursday and again it's got it's got cooler so the first excuse I have to wear marigold and gardenia I will take it so this is Vera Wang Embrace marigold and gardenia and I'm absolutely obsessed with this I love this perfume this is in my top five perfumes now i i'm i don't I, it's really i find it hard to explain why but it is absolutely one of my all-time favorites now it just i think maybe it just works very well on me and it makes me feel really comfortable but it makes me feel really s sweet and yummy and i can't stop smelling myself when i'm wearing this and it definitely lasts longer in warm weather than it does cold I just find it very heavenly. I absolutely love this perfume. Um, so the notes in this, top notes, melon, mango, middle notes, gardenia, marigold, orange blossom, base notes, cardamom, musk, sandalwood and cedar. And it has 
Uh, and I think I've said this before, but the, the kind of beachy perfumes that I've smelt have a vibe of this, but they tend to be salty and very vanilla forward. Um, but they tend to have florals that smell a bit like this. They tend to have some kind of melanin, which smells a bit like this. They often have a spice in that smells a bit like the cardamom in this, and they nearly always have musk and wood. So this, I think, I've kind of given up on finding my salty, like beach perfume, you know, because salt, a C notes tend to not work on me. The vanilla often goes a bit TCP when it's mixed with that salt. And I think actually I've worked out there's a certain type of musk that smells like chlorine on me because I tried the um, the Brocard My Cup of Tea perfume, the five o'clock one again, which is the one where I was like, well, there's not salt in this, but there's vanilla and musk. I, and I, I've tried that and then I tried and then I was thinking, well, the Narciso Rodrigo's, Rodrigo's ones smell like swimming pools to me. They smell like chlorine. And I think maybe it's a musk thing. I think there's a certain type of musk that smells like chlorine on my skin. So this is the closest i'm going to get and to be honest i absolutely love it and i and i don't need anything else that's this but with salt it's just perfect and it, it, it there's something creamy about it um but yeah this is to me i call it my melon marigold because i think it smells like melon marigold um it's just absolutely scrumptious and i love it now oh yeah i wanted to mention i wanted to mention this one because i did wear it in the evening and what i i thought i, I haven't showed you before but this is my little um decanter bottle that i've got my skin musk in um so skin musk you would have seen me talking about it loads it's by parfums de Coeur nowadays and i it's my absolutely favorite musk of all time it's my favorite musk nothing ever is as nice as this in terms of just a musk but i'm not i'm not going to be able to use this anymore this was from amazon beautiful as you can see but the metal in this, the, because this is a screw. Let's just take it out. You see, there's metal here on the inside and that has tainted what's left of my oil in here. Um, Cause I put it on the other night and where it's been hot, that metal smell has really got into the oil and it's horrible. It's ruined it. Thankfully, I, as you can see, I have really not got, I mean, th I think this is only like a three mil thing. So this has maybe got one mil left in it. So it's not the end of the world, but I will have to take this out and I'm going to buy one of like, I'm gonna buy myself a vintage one that's just a glass stopper that doesn't have any metal on it, which is literally just a glass dabber bottle. Um, Cause I keep this next to my bed cause I wear it at night quite a lot. But yeah, the, the, the weather recently, oh, it's so dusty. Oh, dear um it's just um yeah it's it's kind of ruined it which is a bit of a bummer but anyway so i did wear that one and that one is just musk sandalwood and floral notes and it is sweet delicious i've talked about it a million times i've got a video of it if you want to see it um so then on friday i was working from home so um i tested out a new one and i've made a video of this so you'll see it uh, quite soon cool bottle as you can see now this little guy is Aurel Achilles perfume. So I think this is probably discontinued, but you can get, this is a 25 mil and you can get these in the UK for five pounds, 4.99. You can get them from Savers, you can get them from eBay and a couple of other places. Um, you don't seem to be able to get the big bottles anymore, which are kind of wide and squat, but this same pattern, this same kind of, uh, it's got like a little ball shaped lid. Um, I was looking at this one for ages because I saw it on Savers and I was like, well, that looks like it's a bit of a bargain, doesn't it? Let's have that. And um, it, I mean, I had to get it because there's chocolate and tea in this perfume, which are two things that I really enjoy in a perfume. So I wasn't sure if I'd like it at first. I won't talk too much about this one because I have made a whole video which will come up soon. But the top notes in this are tea, fig, peach and bergamot. Middle notes, rose, Mexican chocolate, geranium, osmanthus and white flowers. Base notes, Virginia cedar, musk, tonka bean and sandalwood. And I fell in love a little bit wearing this one. It goes through lots of different stages, but it's a happy scent. It's light. You get that aromatic tea note. You get quite a lot of chocolate, but it's not a sickly chocolate. It's a very, very nicely done chocolate in this perfume. You get a lot of, to me, a lot of osmanthus. 
you get musk it's it's sweet but it's not cloying the fig is like a green fig in this i'd say it's not syrupy it's not dirty or muddy it's not at all masculine it's super feminine and lovely and i just i think this is so so pretty i have a quick sniff but yeah it smells different when you first spray it then it gets more floral then it dries down it's green like green and grassy from that tea in the fig when you first spread it's just very pretty and it's it's an interesting perfume because for how cheap it was it's it's quite complex i'd say and it chain it goes through a few stages this is very very pretty definitely if you're in the uk and you like tea or chocolate in perfumes and you like kind of bright green green kind of smells absolutely lovely really lovely and then in the evening I wanted to get a bit more foxy and since my partner told me this was the sexiest one from the from the bunch of the Scentology ones that I got I wore Scentology Floriental Mandarin now when I first got this perfume I was like oh, it smells like something it reminded me a tiny bit of my goji berry um, perfume uh, Aqua Colonia from 4711 and it definitely still does but I was like oh this time when I was wearing it, the new Misty Ore. I don't think this is actually like a full dupe, like it's not an actual, actual dupe, but it's a bit of a smeller like I'd say. Slightly different on the skin, but definitely when you sniff it from the bottle, this to me just smells like Misty Ore, like the new Misty Ore, the one with the kind of multicolored, um, like woven ribbon on it. Um, <laughs> so yeah but this is 10 pounds for 100 ml it is no de parfum it is light it's skin scenty but it this one lasts a bit longer than the lychee and the um other one that i've the other one that i've got this is a bit of a longer lasting one so notes in here you can get this in boohoo boohoo and beauty base i think um they don't do it at boots anymore which is where i got it from so top notes mandarin clementine bergamot pink pepper heart heliotrope jasmine pink rose base sandalwood tonka bean and vanilla so it's quite vanilla -y, it's quite sweet um it's not my favorite like i i wasn't uncomfortable wearing it but then like misty i don't really i'm not bothered about any of the misty ores i don't think any of them smell particularly special not anymore anyway like i think probably the older ones i know everyone loves misty or sheree you know it's like actual interesting notes in those but yeah i mean i think this is probably quite a nice and safe alternative if you like misty or but you d d maybe like something a little bit lighter um or uh financially lighter <laughs> it's not like i said it's not 100 percent dupe at all but it i think it's probably supposed to smell a bit like it so um yeah so that was this week there's a lot of perfumes being worn but it was yummy and i don't know yeah i'm cute these are all like in part of my permanent collection none of these are going anywhere so i didn't try anything that i then want to get rid of if you know what i mean so um so yeah that was a nice little bunch of perfumes i wore this week very yummy indeed um so yeah i i've got loads of new stuff coming up it's getting really busy but i've scheduled loads of stuff and i've actually got a couple of quite interesting things to talk about which i will be trying to make videos of as soon as possible but yeah um that's me for this week and i will see you again next week <laughs>